<clears throat> hey collective how are you guys doing i hope you all are doing well and awesome and i hope you have a wonderful blessed day heavenly father thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through to the tarot for the highest good of the collective heavenly father i pray that you'll send clear and precise messages through my archangels my spirit guides and my ancestors of love and light and heavenly father i pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we open ourselves up to receive these messages. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. All right, collective, we're going to tap into your person's energies here. Ooh, they are salty about you walking away. Some of them won't. They lick back. They want revenge. They want to get back at you. But somebody is pissed that you walked away. Your person is pissed. Yeah, 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 this Eight of Cups, Energy, Seven of Swords, and the Fool. Yeah, you left them behind, baby. You're not talking to them. You're not reaching out to them. You're not checking on them. And they feel a certain type of way about it, honey. Let's go. Holy Spirit, what message do you have? Yeah, Knave of Swords. Uh-huh, it's a page of swords. They spying on you. Uh-huh, look how they pissed. They side eye and everything. Uh-huh, your person, they, they pissed off. They got something to say to you, uh-huh, because you went hermit on them. Uh-huh, you went hermit on them, Virgo energy. Yeah, you rejected them. And your, rejecting, your rejection is causing a lot of pain and a lot of tears for your person. Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, you blocked this person all the way out of your energies in your life. Mm, now your person is thinking. They thinking of what to say to you. They thinking of how to come back around to you. Some of you guys, your person is going through some type of a um, awakening here with this hermit energy. Yeah, going inside self to find self. Yeah, your person is pissed. They are unhappy. Ten of cups in the knave of cups or the knave of wands in the reverse. Yes, they are absolutely devastated. Devastated that you're not talking to them. Uh-huh. There's some type of secret that then came out. Moon energy in the reverse. Um, for some of you guys, your person is releasing all kind of feelings and emotions here. Yeah, this is this is depression. They are grieving. They are pissed and they are grieving. With the knave of wands in the reverse, they're not reaching out to you. They're not talking to you because they're handling this secret, secretively. They don't want you to know that they're just miserable without you. Because some type of truth has been revealed. Yep, they sitting up under judgment here. Also, two collective, your person want to reunite with you, but it's feeling as though you separated from the connection. You're doing better without them. And this is why they're unhappy, because now they have to sit back and watch you do better without them. This is why they're not reaching out to you. Also, two collective, um, this is the most high, or this is this is your spirit team that is keeping this person blocked from you. Somebody had to sit their ass down somewhere with this judgment and this hermit. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, your person had to sit, sit down somewhere and really um, assess who they are and how they show up in life and in love and how they show up in this connection here. But somebody is totally devastated here. Devastated that you moved on. <laughs> you... you you ghosted. I mean, honestly, with the judgment and the nine of pentacles, you don't want no reconciliation with your person. You don't even want to talk to them no more. Uh-uh. And they know this. They know this because secrets have been revealed here. Yeah. Ten of pentacles. You could have had a family with your person. Y'all could have been in a long-term committed relationship here. Five of swords in the reverse. They do not want to fight with you anymore. Yeah, they want a brand new beginning with you. Here, they're holding on to you, holding on to the memories, holding on to the fact that they could have had success with you. They're feeling very nostalgic. They want to come towards you, but they're blocked. They're blocked. They're blocked from this legacy. They're blocked from this commitment here. Okay, let's see what's going on. Some of them is pissed at the fact that you found stability financial stability without them yeah you don't need them yeah you can make it you can make it without them and they don't like the fact that you can make it without them yeah they don't they don't want you to do this ace of cups they're all in their emotions 
now they have a newfound love or a newfound uh emotions for you something like that yeah strengthening ace of swords is here at the bottom of the day yeah they they are longing they are longing they are emotionally overwhelmed here because they're so unhappy because they un they honestly understand now that the love that they had with you was true and it was pure and it was supposed to last for a lifetime what can you tell me about this ace of cups what can you tell me about the ace of cups yeah they know they were supposed to have this new beginning with you. Yeah. Now they're sad and regretful. They're stuck on you. Eight of Swords with the Five of Cups and the Nine of Wands. They cannot let you go. They cannot let go of the memories of you. Yeah. They want to collaborate with you. They want to work with you. Yeah. Three of Coins and the Lovers here. Gemini Energy and Three of Cups. They want to reunite with you, baby. They want to have a higher level commitment with you now after this third party. They realize how much they love you after they made a choice in love. And they're like, your person, they just overwhelmed, emotionally overwhelmed. You found out the truth about your person and you're not talking to them. And all they can do is just spy on you, stalk your social media, ask friends and family about you. Checking in on you, stalking. I'm getting a heavy stalking energy. Yes, yeah, seven of swords is here. There was some type of lies and betrayal here. Yeah, five of wands that caused some type of conflict or they had you in competition here. They were lying and shit. They tried to take a leap of faith in another direction here. And also, too, your person is pissed because you just you just started something else without them. Uh, you turned your back and you did not look back at all. You're going towards new love here. Some of you guys are taking the leap of faith towards new love here. This could be self-love or um, another person. Mm. They don't like that shit. They know that the competition is here. Yep. Yep. And now they're being judged for their deceitful ways here. Mm-hmm. You leaving and going off and finding new love is a part of their karma here. For some of you guys, your person did this to you. They thought that they was going towards new love. But the truth came out about that. They were doing this in secret. Yeah, because that shit busted up with the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Moon energy in the reverse. Hell yeah, their secrets have been revealed. And now they're sitting over here in misery. Okay, because now they know who their true love is. And they took a gamble and a risk. And they lost. Yeah, now they want to come and apologize. Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Now they want to come and bring you this love offer that they should have given to you from jump. That's what I'm getting. They're very emotional. Strength, energy with the Ace of Swords. Again, at the bottom of the deck, they are hoping, wishing, and praying they have a new beginning with you. Okay? Your person actually discovering that they love you. But it's after they went inside self to figure out what it is that they want or who it is that they want or they figured out something about self that kept them from the true love that you two were supposed to you two were supposed to share queen of wands energy they're very attracted to you okay but you're very defensive <laughs> collective you are very defensive against your person yep blocking them out yes and now they want to they want to come rushing in okay they want to talk to you Okay, but they don't want no smoke, five of swords in the reverse. They don't want no smoke, but they do want to speak some type of truth to you, collective, because you blocked them out. And now you're looking all Gucci and juicy and gorgeous to them. Yeah. Yeah, they want to talk. Four of wands here. You could be in a twin flame connection, soulmate. Yeah, the tower. Something is crumbling. Something has changed. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, now they turn your their attention towards you with the King of Wands and the Tower Energy. So somebody did something too fast. They could have separated from you too fast. Something of the sort. They did something too fast that caused the separation. This was a surprise to you. But all of a sudden, they turn their energy back towards you because they're desiring you. We have the Queen and the King of Wands out here. Now they're turning their attention towards you because you're looking good and juicy. Mm-hmm, two of wands. Yeah, two of wands with the justice and the temperance. They want to settle things with you, okay? They want to balance things out with you. They do not want no smoke, collector. Your person do not want no smoke with you, no. 
no no they taking this leap of faith towards you because now they're discovering what love is and what love isn't i say it all the time and here it is with your person yeah they are completely smitten by you but this is after they betrayed you and they're sitting under judgment okay they're sitting under judgment about how they showed up in this connection through them in this hermit energy now they see the value of you now they see the beauty in you yes king of coins here earth energy grounding somebody want to come back and establish some type of foundation with you they want their family back they want to create a family yeah that's gonna do because you're the empress Oh, they know your love is true. Okay? Well, what, look at this devil energy. Your person is obsessed with you. Okay? Somebody also, too, tried to come in between you and your person's connection here. But with the empress and the devil right here, somebody overcame. Overcame some type of ox, toxic energy or some type of addiction here. But with the empress and the devil, this is somebody also, too, that's wishing ill will on you. You're looking dead at this devil. You know exactly what this toxicity is, and you still showing up with love. Okay? Yeah, you battling in you battling ten of sources here. You grew. You grew from this toxicity that this person was causing in your life and in your connection here. The Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords, baby. This is a whole lot of healing. This is the end of this painful, tough cycle here. Okay? Baby. <laughs> You're not even paying this devil energy no more, no mind. They're trying to get your attention, and you're not paying them no attention, and it's pissing them off. It's pissing them off, yeah. Yeah, it's pissing them off because this, this came as a shock and a surprise to some of you. Your person, they shocked and surprised that you don't want to fuck with them. Mm-hmm. You heal. Star energy, Aquarian energy, and now you have a new beginning with an emperor. Some of you guys is living in a karmic situation with this devil energy and you having a brand new passionate beginning with your emperor. Some of you guys are coming together with your divine counterpart for the first time after leaving a karmic situation because you learned your lesson. Baby, the emperor and the empress is out here and they looking at each other. Just along with the masculine, or uh, um, how should I say, the king of wands and the queen of wands. You're coming into a new connection collective with somebody who can match your energy who's just as attractive as you, who is just as loving as you. And your person that you're leaving behind, they 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 jealous of it. They're possessive. Somebody, yeah, somebody is obsessive because they're possessive. And you're not paying them no mind. Uh-uh. Some of them is blocked. Block communication is here. Yeah. But your person, they just, they hate to see you go. Yeah, now we have the strength and the ace of swords coming out. They're finding out. <laughs> Your person is trying to find the strength and courage to come towards you and speak their truth here. To, to see if they can have a brand new beginning with you. But you are guarded with the seven of wands. This is why I say you are not talking to your person. You block them out. You have completely turned your attention elsewhere to new love. I heard to true love. Yeah. And now your person is left behind. This is feeling like a karmic soulmate here. You're leaving a karmic soulmate to be united with your twin, with your divine counterpart. Yep. Three of Cups. Being reunited with your divine counterpart. I can't make this up. Uh-huh. Will of Fortune. Now is the time. Will of Fortune and Justice. You damn right. And what we have here, Five of Cups. Somebody is sad and regretful that you are able to move forward and have justice in this connection have justice behind what they have done to you in this connection, having justice behind this judgment, this final judgment, this decision that you have made. We have justice and judgment out here. So somebody is sitting under karma or is learning a karmic lesson and it's coming through heartbreak. Heartbreak that they have created with this magician energy because they was over here sitting at a crossroads about who they want to go towards. Okay, knowing damn well you they soulmate two of cups, high priestess. They know damn well that you was they soulmate and they fucked around and rejected you. So since they rejected you, collective, you queen the source that ass. And when you queen the source that ass, booyah, you bossed up. You leveled up. Queen of Pentacles right here. They, this is a level energy. This is a mother mother energy, a loving energy. You healed. 
Four of Swords. You heal from this heartbreak. And this is how come you have brand new beginning in love with your real divine counterpart. Because you learned this karmic lesson from your person. And now they want to come back, but you done already moved on. Some of you guys have already moved on to another connection. It was time to wrap that cycle up and move forward. Mm-hmm. Yep. What's your person have to say? Let's see. Holy Spirit, what do the collective person have to say about them moving forward? Now they feel lonely. Okay? They feel the loss of you, collective. They don't know what to do. That's why I said somebody is totally devastated that you're not around, that you cut them out, Queen of Swords. You don't want them no more. They over here crying big tears with this Five of Cups here. Yeah, because justice is playing out in your favor, collective. Yes, Libra energy. The will, look, this is, this karmic justice is blessings. And the blessings is coming in the form of a, a true emperor, a true divine counterpart. After you learned this lesson from this karmic here. Yeah. What do, what do they have to say? <laughs> they need to hold back their true feelings from you. So they're not even letting you know just how much they love you, how much they're hurting or anything like that. Like I said, with this hermit energy, they're not, they're not letting you go. They're not letting you know exactly how they feel yeah they're not letting you know that they're afraid of losing you but it's making me feel like your person already know they lost you because you're gone and you're not taking that shit the truth then came out they couldn't make a decision the truth came out about them not making deci a decision when it comes to you and another person or another energy here yeah your person you know that your person hurt you they know they hurt you and because you're not talking to them now, all of a sudden they want to be butt hurt, painful memories and shit about the past that they have with you. They painful because they're blocked. Okay, your person is sitting in misery because they're blocked. They can't come, and this is all too much for your person. Okay, some of you guys, your person is using drugs and alcohol to cope with this. Okay, and this, and they can't express their emotions or their feelings, so they're trying to drown it. They're trying to stay inebriated because they can't handle the truth. They can't handle reality. Okay, your person wish they would have been honest with you in this connection. And they know damn well that you're doing what's best for you. Because your person is over here full of drama. They're dealing with drama and they feel a drama. And this is the reason why they can't talk to you. They still fucking with drama. Or still have drama around you. Or it's some type of drama that's keeping them from you. Yeah. They wish they could understand you. They wish they did. They wish they understood you before they made this terrible, terrible decision to betray you, Tender Swords. Now they're regretting ever stabbing you in the back. These feelings is eating them alive. And they need to figure out why they even did that. They need to figure out why they were even triggered by you. Mm. Yeah, your person is just, you know, is kicking themselves in the ass on how, because of how they showed up in the connection with you. They wish they never did it. Yeah. <laughs> your person is like, don't wait for me, please. Why? Because they need more time to figure themselves out. So this is making me feel as though your person know that they don't deserve you. Hence the reason why what they have done to you in this connection is eating them up inside. And they can't even talk to you about it because they're still going through it. They're still going through the karma. They're still going through the judgment of the actions that they have taken against this connection here. Yeah. They know you're not putting up with their bullshit. Yep. Yep. They know that you deserve better, too. Yeah. So, you know, your person, they, they know fully well what happened and why. Why you turned your back. Why you cut them off. And because you've done that. And you started your healing journey and your healing process. You was able to move forward from this. Your person over here is stuck in the consequences of actions that they have did against this connection. But that's the karmic lesson that needed to be learned. You needed to learn it and your person needed to learn it. And because you learned your lesson and cut off this connection with this karmic soul tie, this karmic soulmate that you have, boo yeah. Here come your emperor because now there's room. Now you're able, I heard, ready. Okay, now you're ready to receive. You're ready to see, to receive your true emperor because you learned lessons from your past.
karmic soulmate, okay? All right, collective, this is what I have for you. I'm going to leave it right here. If any of these messages resonated, please drop a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.